Hello sports fans, welcome to another excellent episode of Bay 46. My name is James Trudenik, I'll be hosting today. Joining me is the fantastic Wanderers legend Matteo Poliak. Thanks for being with us today. No worries, thank you. How have you been? You've been on the injury roster recently, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, How's that coming along? Many of us injured and yeah, it's going to be well. So I'm joining with the team today and I wish I could be with them in Perth today but it's been like short turnaround, a bit of a risky for me but yeah I'm, I'm expecting to be back next week. Okay, that's good news and more good news, you got married recently, congratulations, how's, uh, how's that been treating you? Yeah, yeah, thank you first of all and it's nice obviously if I didn't want it, what would have happened so I'm very happy, very excited and to sort of start my new life, everything's coming along very good. Okay. A lot of football to talk about this week. We'll start with the, um, the Brisbane game, which incidentally was the Wanderers' 100th competitive game, and also Nikita Rukovitsia scored our 100th competitive goal, which is really good news. And even better news, we thrashed them mercilessly 4-1. But Terry, can you talk us through how it looked from your perspective? Well, I think that yesterday's game obviously brought many smiles on the people's faces, yeah. and I think it reminded us how those good can be. And it was obviously every game was hard to watch for me, especially when I'm not involved. But in yesterday's one, I enjoyed definitely. I think we showed really majority of the talent that we have, and it was fully deserved win. And I think it was total dominance from the start to the end. Yeah, that's how it looked from my perspective. It looked because um, Kieran Bullet scoring a double, uh, Rukovic scored the hundredth goal as previously mentioned, and Romeo Castellan gets his first. Um, really strong attacking play. Is that, would you agree with that a fair assumption? Yeah, definitely. Not only that, like we created more chances as well, but I think in, in this game in particular, execution was crucial. Like, we create chances every game. Yep. Yesterday I think it was total dominance, mm -hmm. and, and I think we deserve even more goals than that, but we have with this, obviously. As you said, uh, all the goals and all the players who you mentioned, they were completely outstanding, but not only that, like whole team, I think we had uh, back on track our defensive structure, that toughness that we had throughout the, the one the whole wonder, it's like sort of period of three years. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, final third, that execution was yeah. like spot on. Yeah. He's in behind Bullet. Kieran Bullet goes bang! And Western Sydney Wanderers ice the cake here at Suncorp. Let's talk about the upcoming game. Let's talk about the Perth squad. A lot of danger men to talk about. Andy Keogh has scored 10 goals this season and is obviously very deadly up front. How would, uh, how would you rate his chances of scoring against the Wanderers? Well, he is top strike, obviously. He wouldn't score 10 goals. He wouldn't be at the top if he, if he wasn't. Uh, he was dangerous even in other games, but I'm sure if we keep our structure, like we did in Brisbane, we completely demolished them uh, defensively and offensively, but in, in defence especially, I think our defenders didn't give them a chance to breathe at all. So as long as our defenders are aware of that, of his uh, threats and, and his strengths, yeah. we shouldn't be worried. And the other man we're hearing a lot about is the glory captain, Michael Thwaite. Uh, there's talk that he might not play against the Wanderers. How would that affect the game if he didn't take to the field? Uh, me personally, never, never take, take those talks for granted. Like I always like want to see the squad first, and then I believe in any rumors, any media writings or something. So I think he will play there. Like obviously, I don't know what's happening, what kind of injury it is or isn't. But I believe that wouldn't change uh, our mindset or, or our tactics or anything. Okay, and let's get to the important stuff. How many goals will the Wanderers win by? <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to copy result from Brisbane. I have nothing against that. I'm thinking 12. <laughs> I'm thinking 12 plus. Just, 12 yeah. goals would be nice. Just to maybe to, to get a bit better in goal difference. Yeah, Just goal. in case. Yeah. It's always handy to have that. Why not? I agree with that. All right. And that's all we have time for here on this episode of Bay 46. Don't forget, you can catch all the action of the upcoming game against Perth Glory live on Fox Sports 4 505. Kickoff is at 9.30 New South Wales time. Well, there's a lot of words in there. Matteo Poliak, our special guest for today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. The Thanks beard so. is glorious. I love it. And don't forget, next home game is against Melbourne City on Good Friday, and I hope to see you all there. My name is James Trudinic. Thanks for watching.